another beautiful day. Just woke up, slept good last night. It was nice and cool. Bed rolls. And uh, we're gonna go shed hunt today. You guys don't know where I'm at because I didn't do any lead in, but that's all right. We are in Utah for shed hunting. Wait, what state should we say we're in? Uh, Nebraska. We're in Nebraska. We're gonna be in Nebraska shed hunting today, the hills and mountains of Nebraska. So we're gonna go look for elk sheds. Um, luckily, I have a hunting partner. You all right there, pal? I was throwing all the bananas away and I threw a mango instead. <laughs> Josh is burning the candy he doesn't like. It's just sacrilegious. <laughs> Anyway, luckily I have a good shed guide today. Um, I hired a shed guide. You guys might know him as Josh Corbin, the antler trader, elk finding, elk shed finding sucker. Dude, look at this mosquito. How's there a mosquito right now? It's like freezing. Anyway, hired me a shed guide. Me and Josh are going shed hunting. Hopefully we're gonna get into some big bulls and uh, pick up some horns. I don't know why I have to say that because why else would we be here other than to get into bulls? Yeah, oh yeah, we're here stargazing. Anyway. Let's go do this, hike up into the spot, and uh, hopefully we'll get into some big brownies. Why do I say that? Hopefully we'll find some horns. Like, why else are we here? Hopefully we find horns. Anyway, let's, hit, let's go. So we ended up hiking for about 20 solid minutes last time. Um, Got back to the truck, we realized we weren't gonna be able to get up to the level we wanted to from that side because of some ledges. So we made a big drive around the back to see if we could get up that way. No dice, not happened on that side either. So now we made a big drive around this side and we found a way that's gonna get us up in there for sure. We're a long way from where we wanted to go. Long story short, we're gonna shed hunt our way to where we wanted to go, hopefully get where today. It's like, what, two o'clock in the afternoon? We just did Josh's video and ran through all of this. So if you want a better synopsis than that, go check out his his YouTube video. Hope, um, hopefully we'll find some shit. <laughs> Let's go, you guys. You, this place is freaking cool. Never could have found this spot without all my sponsors. <laughs> Sponsored by uh, Toyota Trucks, uh, Pain Socks, Charmin Ultra Toilet Paper, Lifesaver Bay. Man, this stuff's gnarly. All right, Josh. Let's see if you can jump up it. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, hops for days. Hops, all right. That's pretty good. My turn. Bam! Well. That's a long ways up that canyon to not be able to get out of it at the top. <laughs> Surprise. I don't think people know how many days like shed hunters spend just like trying to figure out how to get places that they found on Google Earth or like just kind of trying to get to that spot that's going to be holding them. So this looks like it's going to be one of those days, but it's been fun actually. We've seen some awesome country explored these slot canyons and seen a bunch of cool things so it's never a failure any day that you're in the woods is uh especially when you got like good company to film you sliding down the <laughs> slick rock um i seriously thought i might be dead for a second we were trying to find a way up out of this canyon and uh i slid down this slick rock off this little drop and uh, I thought I might die, but then I didn't even get hurt. But my camera fell. Pretty good, pretty good drop. But anyway, chalk this one up to a uh, lesson learned. We'll go make some food. Try her again tomorrow. So we went up right here. Super sketchy, these rocks are barely hanging in. 
went all the way up there, all the way to those pine trees. We we're gonna cut across the top and go out right there. But the cutting across part happens to be on like a total slope, like no sane way to navigate it. So uh, <laughs> we're SOL on the day. We put in some miles and some steep ones, but we're gonna have a snack and a drink right here. And then we're just gonna motor out of the slot canyon and go, uh, go get, maybe we'll go to town, get some fuel. Maybe we'll just go to bed, who knows. Day two, yesterday was all about exploring, getting this stuff figured out, finding the best route to the top of that mountain. Now we found it, now we're gonna go hit it. You can tell that um, it's really early in the morning because the sky's gray. That's not because it's cloudy, it's because we gotta go, it's gotta be like four in the morning right now, 4.30. Anyway, me and this guy right here, we're going to the BZ, Bone Zone. <laughs> it's a nice little abbreviation I just came up with. Anyway, come with us. We on top, two days it took us, we on top. Found a little elk trail, got us up where we needed to be. We're finally at the stuff that we've been looking at on Google Earth all week. So now it's time to make good on what we came here to do. Sure. Have a picnic. Oh, you guys, I haven't probably been excited to see a chalky little raghorn in a long time. <laughs> Holy cow. Way up here and getting our butts kicked. Josh picked up one chalker a ways back and I just found an elk shed. Man, it's not that big and it's old, but I'm telling you, it's about three in the afternoon. We've been hiking since about 10. We're finally getting into some stuff. It's holding some sheds. You have to find joy in the little things. And this is, <laughs> this is a little thing. <laughs> right there, fighting these old hills. A lot of you guys know better about this than I do. <laughs> just a chalk, it's actually just kind of buried, but older than dirt, but man, it sure feels good to get something on the pack. <sighs> I wish I could show you this, but it too, shows too much, but uh, we are a long ways up here. Like, it's a long ways from where we topped out even, so anyway pick this puppy up I guess ooh four points what is it with me and four points huh pink chalkers they do exist in Utah ah, cool well we saw like I don't know maybe uh, seven shed bulls or eight shed bulls on the next ridge over keep looking hopefully turn some more up and it's like I said hope I find elk sheds like there's any need to say that You guys, I think it might finally start paying off. We hit some amazing looking stuff and uh, sign all over the place. And uh, right there, 10 minutes onto this ridge. It's just a chalker. But, oh man, does it feel good. We are way up here. And I am way tired and thirsty, but uh, as long as I can pick up a few, not gonna hurt my feelings, I'm gonna feel good about it. So, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's pick it up. Pretty heavy shed actually for how old it is. Definitely got some weight to it still. And a long beam right on. Working my way down through this thick oaky stuff mixed with ponderosas and it seems to be holding some, so keep going. Guys, today I'm here with the antler trader. Josh, how does it feel to finally have some antlers on your back? It feels good, it's a little bit heavy, but we'll make do. You guys, can you say bone zone? So solid, so, so solid. Can you say bone zone? I mean, that's four sheds, count them. Bone zone, it's official, BZ. I think last time I talked to you guys, um, we were about to uh, maybe head off the top, I don't know. But we walked all the way out of there and it was brutal. I think we looked at Josh's phone show, we did 16 miles today in like nasty stuff. Um, and so now we're getting our grub on. Like 
I don't know about you guys, but when I'm out there hiking, all I can imagine is what I'm gonna eat when I get back to the truck. My favorite thing to eat while I'm shed hunting, you guys will probably think that I'm weird. Cottage cheese, green olives. Stirred up, oh, it's delicious. You get that perfect mixture of the creamy and the salty. Ooh, 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 I love it. That's what I'm having for dinner right now. Josh is cooking up a little bit of dehydrated safeguard foods, and uh, we're back here at camp. And here's the best, oh, here's the best thing. I don't usually do this, like, but something about a fire. I don't usually light one. I usually just, uh, we're living a good life this week. Yeah, I usually kind of stay rustic about it, but the other, the plus thing is, is I like the way I look in firelight. Wow, dude, I look so rustic right now. Look at this. Manly. My hat got a little sweated up today. Check this out, dude, look how rustic. Turn, wait, turn your lamp off. Whoa. Bro. Dude, look how rustic we look right now. <laughs> yeah, you're light, way dude. more rustic, dude. No, you look pretty you're, rustic. You're pretty majestic. Look at this sweat. On the yeah. inside my of the bill of my hat. Because you're a gangster. It's because of my thing. Anyway. Yeah, dude, look at that sweat. That what up? Sweat. Where do you get a shed sweat. crazy lid? Shed crazy. Someday, Someday folks, I'm like the worst. The it's worst at making apparel. Anyway, we're going to grab some food. We got a surprise guest joining us on the vlog for tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna go to the to the BZ in the AM. Those are all terms and abbreviations you should understand by now. Here's another one of the favorites. You guys eat sardines in mustard. A little bread, I'm gonna smooth them on here. I actually never had the kind in mustard. I usually get them in Louisiana hot sauce if I can find them, or uh, oil. Don't be alarmed at the fact that they look like diarrhea. <laughs> They're gonna be good. <laughs> Let's make a sandwich. That's what they look like on the bread. It's not any better. <laughs> Hi, I'm time. Time to motor one of these down. Josh is over here roasting a weenie. You love cooking dogs. All the fire. That looks good. Do it. All right, here's some rustic sardine eating. They're good, man. Yeah. They're kind of vinegary. I like them. I wish they were spicy. What's up, guys? So, uh, kind of slept last night. Why do I have to tell them? It was dark. We closed our eyes. Anyway, not for not for very long. Did we really sleep, though? Dude, I didn't sleep like at all. I had to get up and pee like three times. I know. Every time I would Water, wake up, oh, like, oh. I slept great in the hotel. How would it be, huh? How would it be to get a hotel all the time, dude? No, trust me, I slept like crap in that hotel. Someday I'm gonna be famous enough to get hotels we for now. Hotel? I'm in Hotel Canvas Coutier. I say it like that, it makes it sound French. Hotels need to invest in that memory foam topper. Dude, they don't want you to like be I'm comfortable. I'm sleeping on a plywood board when I go to hotels now. They just want your money, bro. You guys, oh my gosh, I could freaking cry. <sighs> that is such a gnarly bowl. Oh, you guys, I've been dying for a brown elk shed. I've, there's not that many horns that I put as much work into as this one right here. The last three days, just being out here hustling and kicking butt and trying to figure these bulls out and finally a good heavy Utah brown. Uh, just a big five point. It's got a big gnarly base on it. So let's pick this thing up. Oh, I forgot to take ATLs. Hold on. Be cool, be cool. Alright guys. Oh, oh, that's a heavy shed. Oh, it's been here a while. But... <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at the coolest thing about this shed is the base. Look at the base on this thing. Still smells piney. That's a big, heavy five point. Nine, ten pounder. <laughs> Look at the base on this. That's what it's all about. Well, just made a bunch of laps. Like for about an hour and a half. Can't match this bowl up. 
there's some horse tracks in here and uh it looks like they've just been circling and circling and circling too so i wonder if they got the other side of it or something but i'm gonna work my way over here to where uh eric and josh are see if we can't stir something else up there's been a lot of bulls in this country but it's really kind of transitional um nothing really staying there's a few beds here and there but they're just kind of wandering around that seems like every time i get into this desert country that, that becomes an issue that there's no terrain to keep them in one place no snow so we'll just keep heading uh keep covering country um when when there's uh <laughs> nothing really holding them in one spot the best thing you can do is just put down the miles so that's what we're doing so i met up with this cat what up um so you know i spent like an hour and a half or so trying to match up this bull turns out the match was in my garage the entire time uh josh picked it up with the guys he was here with a couple weeks ago or last week and uh we got together looked at it on his phone and it's the same bull for sure so it's hunting a match that's sitting at home in my pile i bought it from josh <sighs> oh well it's not like i'm still shedding up right right it's still like, seeing some cool country all right some new country that's cool though that's like why, why is that disappointing it's cool go home and check it out put them side by side show you guys what's up match them up Time's up, chalk up, son. <laughs> Stack them up. It's freaking hot. Dude, it's so hot. This is like not. My face just feels sunburnt and windburnt. It doesn't feel like April. No. It's miserable. It sucks. <sighs> Plowing through my water. I blew out my Under Armors, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> blew them out. <clears throat> Got a freaking stick in there. Ooh. Damn it. What do you do? Joys of it. Look at this. Run to this cat. Packing all the sheds. Dude, big deer sheds. So big elk sheds. Took a nap. Got rejuvenated. That's what happened. Oh, dude, Josh got some nice water bottles and electrical tape. Dude, you got yeah, good stuff too. Strap. Hey, can we use some of them? <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep picking them up. You're going to need another one. Yeah, so we all met up here, and uh, I think we're gonna motor for the truck area. Maybe we'll try a new spot, maybe not. Maybe we'll uh, have some snacks, lunch, all my favorite things. Anyway, you wanna come? I can't tell. There might have been some bulls come through here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Where'd you drop them, bros? That's what I wanna know. We got a trash kick. Most everything was picked up today. All right, so we just made it back to the trucks. EC. Did good. He picked up a couple deer, hard white elk, brown elk. I picked up that. And those are the few me and Josh picked up the other day, yesterday. So, windy and it's too hot. Oh, no, it's so tired. Me too, man. I'm burnt. I think Josh. Me too. I don't know if this will be the end or not, depending on whether anything else exciting happens, but if I don't get a chance to tell you guys again, if you want to see the pickups from the stuff Eric found today, go subscribe to Get Hushin'. If you want to see the death hike from yesterday and a ton of other killer shed content, go check out Josh's camp channel at Antler Trader. I'm going to link them both in the description. That right there is where like there's a little arrow that says see more underneath where it says what the video is about. It'll drop down. You can find their channels, click them, go subscribe, show them some love.